Hey everybody, this is Count Meister Vision, and today I wanted to pass along a quick tip um, that many of you may find useful. Um, th this tip is really um, aimed at people that are Xbox One users and owners, and as of right now, uh, Microsoft has not released an actual keyboard or mouse um, set or any kind of combination for the Xbox One, and as far as I know, there are no actual third-party um, accessories that are um, tailored specifically to the Xbox One. But what I did want you guys to know is that if you if you do get your hands on a piece like this, which is by Logitech, this is a Logitech, I think it's the K400. You can see they have their unifying, let me get that a little clearly in there. They have a little unifying dongle in here, USB dongle. Um, they use an HID compliant driver. And as you can see, this is the K400. And I actually really love this keyboard. Um, so basically the tutorial is, if you want to make, instead of just having to use your voice and your Xbox One controller to control that thing over there, all you literally have to do is stick that in one of the open USB ports and you're good to go. And then you can literally start typing away. Um, I know that going between forms and stuff, you can't hit tab, you have to like enter to go to another form and stuff, so that's kind of a bit, bit of a challenge. I'll just show you real quickly just to show you. Um, for those of you who are wondering, um, you know, here's the Xbox One. Um, there is, as we know, one um, USB port on the side here. And I use this primarily for my um, my recharge cable for the actual, um, my actual, um, shoot, I can't, it's, it's too late, guys, for, for my actual controller. I'm going to kind of tip this over like this. Let me give you guys a shot down here in the back. So all you do is you just find an empty spot. Um, I think this is a good one right here. Boom, in there, Logitech, that simple. Put this thing back. Slide that beast of a machine back up in there. And believe me, my cable management is not where I want it to be at the moment. Um, but it is sufficient for my needs right now. And um, yeah, there you can see that. I Have I shown you guys my home PC, my, my home theater PC yet? Well, there it is. Maybe it needs to be reviewed this baby at some point because this thing kicks butt. Um, it, yeah, it'll freaking eat an Xbox One for dinner. Okay, so we've gone ahead and plugged in the uh, the tiny, um, I think called the UN Unity USB dongle um, from Logitech into the back of a, one of our empty USB ports back there on the Xbox One console. We're going to go ahead and um, power on the device now. Okay, I'm pausing the video right now to tell you guys that uh, in order to get this to work, you're going to actually have to do a hard reset of the Xbox system. The best way to do that is actually unplug the system from the wall and then go ahead and power it back on, or the Xbox will not, um, it will not instantly um, recognize the drivers or the keyboard like your typical Windows desktop would. So i.e. it's not plug and play. So go ahead and unplug your Xbox right now um, after you've plugged in the USB dongle and then go ahead and start the, the restart process from there. And this thing always kind of bugs me because I don't know if it's like, yeah, we get you. Does it know that I want to power it up? Anyways, we'll power this thing up and then I'm not going to just sit here while it's powering up, but I'll show you once it gets this powered up. All right, so we're starting up our Xbox One, and we're gonna see if it'll recognize our HID compliant drivers off of our Logitech wireless keyboard, which is the K400, um, which is a trackpad and keyboard combo, um, wireless keyboard and trackpad combo offered by Logitech. So you need to really, you really do need to unplug the actual cable, your power cable. Um, before um, starting back up the Xbox with the new um, USB um, with the new USB um, dongle plugged in for the keyboard. Um, that way you do a full, full reset because there's definitely different levels of how the Xbox can restart or turn on um, based off of its various power setting modes. But we definitely want to do a full reset and it keeps all your stuff, but this is going to be a full system turn off, turn on. So I want, you really want to, you need to unplug it and then plug it back in before it starts back up. And as we look up here, it looks like things are loaded in fine. Now let's go ahead and check and see how our Logitech keyboard checks up. And I'm going to navigate to actually the, um, let's, let's just go in here to the search bar. Just see if we can't type something. 
Um, so normally, you know, if we were going to be searching something, we'd be using our controller sticks to kind of go over to say like, I don't know, let's say we want to search um, Destiny. And I have to go to D and I have to hit A, then E, you know, and all that stuff. And capitalizations are even crazier. Um, but down here, we now have um, our awesome keyboard here. And so all I got to do is just type in, this is going to be hard. And I'll just, I'm just going to show you as I'm doing it. <laughs> um, let me zoom in. Not the easiest thing to do. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that. Okay, so. Um, that worked. Yes. This. Seems to. Work. Enter. <laughs> okay, so it did pull out Destiny. Uh, yeah, so I obviously see this keyboard actually will, is compatible um, with uh, the Xbox One. Um, again, this is the Logitech K400. Um, there it is right there. And it is part of, the, of their Unity system where you can have one of those dongles and actually have multiple different devices controlled by one of those little USB dongles. And um, I think it works really, really well. I'm gonna just going to try some things here if I hit Escape. Um, Escape is doing nothing. Let's see what the arrow keys. The arrow keys are actually going through the different parts of the screen. Um, there is a home button. I'm going to be curious what the home button does. If that takes us to like the home. No, it doesn't. I wonder about the volume keys. It's going to change the volume of the TV. Or mute. It's not looking like it. These aren't doing anything. Um, space looks like actually like an enter thing. So you, there is some navigation I think that you could be doing. I wonder what the Windows key just does actually. It doesn't do anything that I can tell. Um, home key didn't do anything. Uh, do we have to try any of these? Um, so basically not a lot of use for doing any of the specific functions related to the Xbox One. Um, you're going to have to save your controller to do a lot of those. Um, however, that being said, if you are you know, in a situation where you actually do want to use um, Internet Explorer or, um, or some of the other more, um, or some other apps in the future that are going to involve more tax, um, you know, you know, pick up one of these, um, um, these keyboards. I use them all the time for different projects. Um, this is a great keyboard. I think it only runs off of uh, two just two AA batteries, and it lasts forever. I don't think I've ever changed these batteries, and I've had this for a couple years. And I'm curious, just really quickly, my cat is up there. She's checking out the Xbox. I'm curious how they do what the trackpad does on here. And um, as I'm doing it, I'm not seeing anything happening on the trackpad. Um, so it appear, it seems that um, all you basically get is the ability to type. Instead of having to go through and pick and type and those sorts of things, uh, you could have the you could have the ability to have a, a full fledged um, keyboard right here. Um, yeah. So, anyways, guys, um, that's kind of my little um, tutorial and um, little quick tip there to get a full fledged keyboard working with your Xbox One. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. Um, if you like these videos and want more of them coming, let me know. Just um, show me by liking them and sharing them with your friends. Um, if you guys have any other questions about any of the peripherals, I mean, it'd be fun to kind of try some different things out um, to see. And I know that, you know, with Microsoft getting a lot of flack about um, not having really good um, accessory peripheral support, I think this is one interesting area where there already is existing support. So anyways, hope you guys have a good day. And um, um, this is Kyle at Vision, and I will speak to you later.